Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up the audio and video controls so that you can have as the number of cameras you want functioning and the number of uh, simultaneous speakers. You would do this at the beginning of setting up a session uh, as you're getting started with it. Uh, so in order to get started, let's set up the video first. Um, you, what you'll do is if you want to have more than, especially if you want more than one person to be able to share their video, the default I believe is one, you go up to the tools menu and go down to the video uh, area and in here you can choose a different number of maximum number of simultaneous cameras. You can have up to six different cameras at one time. Now the, the, the higher the number of cameras, the more video signal you're trying to send through the system. And so for people with lower bandwidth, um, it could cause some slowdown in their experience. And so um, it'll, you can have up to six cameras showing at any particular time, uh, but there will be some sort of a bandwidth I issue. Now in my case, I only have two participants, so I'm going to just put um, two. Uh, it still is up to those other participants to choose to share their camera or not. So just because you're allowing up to six participants doesn't mean that you're going to get six little video thumbnails as you might see here on the screen um, uh, unless they actually share their share their uh, uh, their cameras. Okay, so uh, you could also sh uh, do some audio setup. So the same thing with audio. You, we've talked about, or in other in other video, we talk about the audio setup wizard. Make sure you go through that at least once. Uh, but you can also change the number of maximum simultaneous talkers as well. Once again, you can have up to six different people talking at any particular time. Now, this can get a little confusing if you've got six people grabbing that um, that microphone and trying to speak at once. Um, certainly, you're not going to have the same ability to understand six people talking at once as if you had them speaking around in a classroom, although that's challenging enough. Um, so you want to be careful with this. Sometimes you might want to have two people, and I will do this sometimes if I have students who want to grab the microphone, I'll allow them to get the microphone even while I'm talking so they can say, hey, wait a minute, I have a question. Uh, and that may be a little bit more natural for them than just kind of raising their hand. I, I, they send me a beep, I get to politely finish, and then they get to start. So if you want that more dynamic interaction, perhaps you want to have more than one simultaneous talker. Now, if you do have more than one simultaneous talker. That means that mic can be open in mo on more than one computer, which means that if you have sound coming out of the speakers on a computer and it has an open mic, that sound can get fed back into the system and so you end up with this really weird echoing thing going on or, or feedback and so you want to avoid that. And so I would caution you not to use more than one maximum simultaneous talker unless you know people will be having uh, headsets where they're not uh, using their computer speakers, they're using headsets, a headset like I have plugged in, uh, so you will prevent that echoing uh, and feedback uh, problem.